This video was sponsored by Abed Root Planner. Yo, what's up? We are now outside my home. Well, this is the uh, home in Arnabru, and this is going to be my first new house vlog. So, uh, some news since last time about the bank and all that stuff. After the video, I was complaining a little bit. Uh, then uh, lots of people contacted me. Great, thank you guys so much. And I now have three cases with banks, uh, three applications. One is actually finished already. They are just waiting for me to uh, go for it. The two other ones came so far that I didn't want to cancel it. So they're almost about to finish. They just need a little bit more. Uh, so that, that's it. It means that I'm good to go. I have one bank, I can get the loan. Freaking amazing. And I will show you guys the, the lot of the land, the piece of land now. We don't have much over there, but maybe I should hurry before it gets too, too dark. But anyway, I will show you something. You see, we are close to a somewhat noisy road, E6 right over there, about two, three hundred meters over there. We have E6. And actually in now in the evening, we don't have too much traffic, but in the daytime, we usually have lots of trucks and stuff. But I'll just show you in the evening what kind of noise levels we will be getting. I have to wait for the, the I3 to pass first. But let's see now. So I had to shut up. Yeah, around 52 decibel. And in the daytime, it goes up to around 60, I think. And we can uh, do another measurement if you guys are interested. Yeah, you see? Okay, now let's go get over to uh, Yesheim. Ta-da! Here it is, the land, yes. This is going to be the house in the future. So uh, let's just do the noise test first, shall we? Okay, so here we have this one. So it, it's nine in the evening now. Yeah, 40 decibel, but you know, this is just the entrance. So we have them, some neighbors here. Uh, well, there's a little bit of noise from uh, the car there because I'm uh, using the HVAC on, but you know, you see the entrance will be here roughly, and then we will have the garage. I think we will just have one garage, not the double, double garage. But that means it will be one double garage. Um, there will be a road here for another neighbor here. So if you walk over here a little bit, just to get an idea, the house should be here somewhere, right? And they need to even out the land here. And this one, yeah, you know, you know what happened at Yardrum, the the quick mud, what they was called, but la landslide. Uh, the foundation here is just rock, lots of rocks. So I'm not sure how they're going to do this. They have to fill it up with some stuff. Uh, but you see house should be around here. So then here is where we have the, the terrace and maybe the swimming pool and the garden. So we should actually try to measure the noise around here instead. And you see, it's a nice and beautiful and calm place for now, but it is planned that there will be a road that goes here. It's called Umkjøringsvegen. And over there used to be a shooting ranch, but they shut it down. So eventually there will be a road here with 60 zone, with bus stops and whatever that goes around there. They have to lower the land and everything. Uh, but that will also increase the value of this area. There will be, of course, some noise involved in the building, but after it is finished, it should be okay. But you see that at least the surroundings here are very nice and calm. Uh, so let me just move over here a little bit. I have to watch out so I don't trip. Let's say around here, we have, I think this is the end. Roughly here is the end of our land. Yeah, roughly here, I think. So it's pretty big, yeah. This is 1,000 square meters. So <laughs> just to, I, once you move, <laughs> actually once I walk over here, I realize how big this land is. So let's say best case, let's say by these rocks here, roughly, because we will also have the house uh, here roughly, and it will cover for some of the noise. So we we'll just chill here and let's see.
yeah, it seems to be about uh, one, two decibel lower noise here than in front of the house. So, wow, wow, really awesome, man. Uh, what else should I say? Hmm, just walk around here a little bit. So we see we have some neighbors down there, but we get nice privacy because our lot will be higher here. And then we have a little fence and then, so it's pretty nice. Uh, and then there will be one neighbor here. Yeah, that's right. Um, so the road over there, I guess it would take a little slope down there. And then there'll be one neighbor here in the, in the corner section here. And we will just, I don't know, we have some bush here to get some privacy on this side. But then we will have one side here, which will be totally like private and open. And yeah, this is, man, this is perfect. This is what I was fighting for to get these lots. So it was a little bit bummer that I, when I heard about the, the, <laughs> the, it was very disputed road that is going to be built here. And it will finish by around 2024, 2025. But then it will make it slightly easier to get around here. And then eventually in the future, there will be more buildings and houses here. But that will be, I don't know. By the time that happens, we will probably be out of this area, going to the next gen Tesla Bjorn mansion. But let's move over here. Oh, for now, wow, what? Where did these rocks come from? Oh, I suspect that these rocks are leftover material from those other buildings over there. So I mentioned that. <clears throat> that it is Idehus who's going to build here. And they say bigger Klausul is like a, I, when I, if I buy this land, I have to use Idehus to build the house here. So uh, there's also some rules about uh, where, uh, well, let me, let me put, well, actually, let me put this one away for now. So there are some rules about um, um, how, how tall everything will be here. Over there we have something called sockel, which is that you see they have one floor there and then they have a, a basement, but we will actually not get the basement. So Idehus also suggested that we could build on the slope and then have like a basement part and then, but we prefer to have two-story building or two-story house similar to that one over there roughly and then no basement. So that also where common nowadays to have it. Uh, so that means that this part of the land here needs to be filled up with rocks or whatever. Uh, I can also tell you that I also considered an option to build a parking garage under the house, but it turns out that that is too expensive. <laughs> so we will just have a conventional garage and that's it. And then fill up the land here. And man, I can, we see it now. I documented now what it looks like as of May 2021, and then we'll see the progress. So um, over here though, this is the road that goes to the neighbor in here. Only one, one unit or one, uh, uh, yeah, one family over there. And this one is regulated or whatever to be six meters wide. And they call it uh, free område, which is, uh, it's not owned by us. It's owned by, I don't know, the municipality or something. So six meters, Oof, I'm shaking a little bit because it's actually a bit cold here. So this, this side here will have a six meter space. So I get a little bit space from that neighbor over here. And you see on this side, we have more like funky house or modern style house. And I, I've driven around here. These guys, they have Land Rovers. I think the guy over here has an e-tron. It's just rich people here with villas and yeah, a lot. <laughs> this is a, a rich man's place, really. Um, but I will also show you here, this is the cable. The power cable has already been prepared for the house. Uh, can we see any inscriptions on the cable? Uh, but it feels, oh, okay. I said something else in the live stream earlier, but um, uh, this one, uh, I don't know. It says 5525, but I heard that it is including uh, fiber internet is also included in this cable. So I don't know how, how many kilowatt you can get through here. 50 kilowatts sounds like too much, or actually, I don't know, maybe we can get 50 kilowatt here. But of course, I will not build a hundred kilowatt fast charger, whatever. It's limited by the, the power feed here. 
Uh, but let's see over there. Yeah, so the plan is that we need to have a little slope in the entrance. I think it needs to be similar to that one. It needs to be about one meter, maybe half a meter or one meter lower than the road here. So that, uh, I mean, we can't just build it tall up like that. So it has to go like in the landscape that that one is slightly taller. Ours would be a little bit lower and then something like that. But then we will flatten out the whole area over here. So yeah, so on this side here, there's also a, a three meter width on this side, which is also, they call it the uh, free område or something, which is, uh, it's not owned by them and it's not owned by me. So it's like a, a public space here between. I'm not sure how it will end up. Maybe there'll be more like a ditch between the two neighbors here or something. Uh, and then same with that one, you see, I mentioned six meter there. So I've checked the, the dimensions now. Uh, it's going to be 21, around 21 meters in the entrance area. And then it widens out as we move further into the, the property. So I think from roughly from here until the end of the property is going to be almost 40 meters. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty big. Yeah, so it has like, um, this property is not squared. It actually has five sides. So it's like a pentagon, this property, this size here. Um, but of course, it, because it's a slope, we can't utilize all the way there and then have a, like, a, end, like a cliff. So it has to slope a little bit. So we can't use like all of it, but let me just quickly move over here to the neighbor. Well, technically, if I walk here, then it's not on the neighbor's property. So we'll, I'll be walking on the, on the public space here, roughly. So now you can see it from this side. Yeah, wow, we, need, we actually need, we need some material to fill this up. <laughs> wow. So yeah, to me, this is pretty cool. Uh, it's some completely different from uh, my regular vlogs. And the plan now is that, uh, well, I'm gonna talk a little bit. You can also hear it that um, it is quite, it's, it's, it's super quiet here, you know? Uh, I'm not sure if my neighbors are, are home or not. Uh, this, that neighbor over there. First I thought, oh, it's some kind of multi, multi uh, unit uh, house. No, it's just one very rich family, I think, uh, with, yeah. But um, you see, I have some cool plants here. Uh, finally, I can have my own place. I will have maybe solar. I will have more uh, chargers. And also the, the entrance here will have, I will not pave it. Like I don't, uh, well, actually I have to decide, but I don't think I want asphalt. I want the, the rocks instead, you know, those, uh, that looks like tile, but whatever. And I want to have it heated. Yeah, because I'm lazy. And then I want to use leftover, when the, end, when the electricity is cheap, I'm going to heat the, the entrance or the, the you know, uh, for, from, from Tibet, but only in winter, so that I don't have to deal with the snow and everything. So, man, there's so many, so many ideas I have, uh, cool stuff. Maybe I will try if, if I get a good deal on the heat, heat, ex what do you call it? The heat collector on the roof. Maybe I'll do that too, but we'll see. But this area or this house is going to be cell. It's called cell air, so it's not um, it's not um, Bundeslag. Yeah. So then we have more freedom on what to do. So man, man, <laughs> I'm so excited. Time frame though. Uh, we will. I guess we have to do the contract and everything soon and then buy the lot and then uh, we will uh, uh, yeah they, then, then we have to plan everything because the picture you guys saw in the previous video that was just a standardized house that Idehus offers but we will have a custom drawn house we have an idea we have I've made the, the outline for it and then we have to get an architect to customize it just the way we want it and then I guess they will start, they call it Grunnabe, like the, 
the groundwork to even it out and whatever. And then maybe this summer they will do, I don't know what they'll do. We'll see, we'll make the progress. But then they start building the house and it will take around eight months to build the house. So they, they usually count one year from now, roughly. So it means that next spring it will be ready. So it's gonna take a long time. Big house, <laughs> more facts maybe. This one they say, BYA, Bygge Areal, or whatever it's called. Uh, the area that you can utilize is 30% of the property, which is pretty big. So it means that for 1,047 square meters, you can actually build on uh, around 300 square meters. I don't remember if, if the garage is counted in that one, but at least the house, two-story house with 300 square meters, is only ta only taking up 150 square meters so we could actually have even a bigger house here but there are also some rules about <laughs> yeah by the municipality that um, the house cannot be too tall you know you can't just build like a freaking tower here so that's probably that's actually why some of these neighbors they build sockel to get it lower but then we don't want that <laughs> so uh, but so our house might stand a little bit tall maybe close to my neighbor over there or something but yeah so we have to see there are some regulations we can of course apply for an exception but that might take extra time and we might not get it but this, we just have to do a small adjustment on the roof of the house and something like that yeah but there are lots of, i mean i can talk about this for hours really but now you guys have seen it <laughs> Oh, so um, I think that's going to be it. Um, did I forget anything? No, I don't think. We will talk more about this. Yes. So that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.